Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. If you've missed my last video, I have a link up, up above where I did some barb, butterfly locks, distressed locks, boho locks. And in this video, I've got for you some long distress. I don't know if they're distressed locks, but I've got some long locks for you guys. And guess what? It's crochet. So this will take you like a lot less time to do. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. All right, as always, I'm starting my hair with it pre-parted and braided. You can braid it all the way down if you wanted or just um, how I've done it. Uh, you need to have a crochet pin. Usually, if you get this on Amazon, it comes with a crochet pin. The hair is already pre-looped, so we're going to just crochet this into our hair. So when you put the loop on your crochet pin, you're going to put that through your hair, but don't put it all the way out then going to put the end of that full lock through the loop and then that's going to create a knot around your hair and there you have it so now it should be secure all right so this is the method that I kind of used throughout it's I think a longer method but this is what I did you want to sort of open the lock it's almost kind of hollow so you're going to tuck your natural hair in underneath or inside this hollow faux lock. So I loosen it slightly and then just wrap it around my natural hair. Just loosen it slightly and then just wrap it around your natural hair. And what you will find is that your hair is inside and you should be able to just like slide, push the hair back and forth, which I'll show you in a moment. Like that, so it's like inside. So your hair is actually protected, it's shielded. <laughs> so that's it, you just have to wrap all your hair in and that's it done. Now I'm gonna show you another method you can do which is where you use the crochet to pull your hair through the faux lock. So get your pin, get it through your hair, get the end of the faux lock and put that through the loop. That creates a knot around your hair and secures the hair onto your natural hair. So you can see your faux lock and your natural hair. And then I'm gonna use my crochet pin, tuck that in through the faux lock. Again, you know, it's kind of that, it's got that hollow fill and then you're going to try and get your natural hair through that hollow bit in the faux lock. This is not my preferred method because I feel like I can't hide right at the roots but you know if you've got any tips on that let me know. But that's it, you're going to use your crochet, put it through the faux lock and then pull your hair through that. And that's the second way you can do this style. This is such an easy style. I really enjoy doing it. Um, it's a bit annoying when you're wrapping it around, but it's okay. It's okay. But that's it, you're just gonna use your, your crochet pin through the hollow bit in your faux lock. And I like to just wrap the end because it's just easy for me. And that's it, and that's how you do the style. It's super easy, super quick, um, and it's a great protective style. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was quite clear and it was um, a, a nice short video for you guys. Um, one thing I would say is a lot quicker than the last video I did. It's about my waist length. Um, and yes, I can feel a bit of weight on it. It's not uncomfortable heavy, but it's 
heavier than I've had in a while because as you guys know I have been doing bobs and I've been doing this like yantas which is like so light so this one yes has definitely got some weight on it um, but I'm not you know it's fine just you know pop it on your head or wear it like this all right so that's it from me for this video if you've got any questions let me know in the comments if you like what you see give me that thumbs up and a like um, and also join the family you know what to do join the family click that subscribe button all right and I'll see you guys in my next video again if you've got any questions or anything you want to see on this channel let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys later bye